Oh, there he is. <laughs> How's the hit on that? Good fish? Yeah, that's a good one. <laughs> Have a go there. Well, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to another Sammy Hitsky fishing adventure. Behind me, my good mate Hayden Elks, or Elksy, as we call him. And on this episode, I've made the trip down the highway. I'm currently in Can't Win of State of Origin series country, and we're chasing shallow water snapper. And I think we've hooked a belter. Well, not me. I haven't done anything, but Elksy has just been slammed on the drop. And this thing's playing up deluxe. Mate, you, you're silent there. I think you, I think you know the situation is, oh, he's going hard. That's not a light drag. It's not a light drag, and that is some serious kick. And it's not a soft ride. <laughs> well, I'm gonna get the net ready because this thing is having a real go. Yeah. You're getting, this can't be anything, we're chasing snapper, but this can't be anything but, can it? I'd be surprised. Do you get kingies here? Yeah. It's a good red. Have we got, yeah, have we got a visual? <laughs> You're getting belted. Oh, there he is. He's on the sounder. Ready? Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm ready now. Gonna have to be ready. Oh yes. Oh yes. That's a proper one. And didn't he give you some curry? He's still going. <laughs> oh mate. If that's the caliber of fish we're chasing there, he's gonna kick the crap out of your rods. But little high five first. I'm gonna give you, hit you with a bit of backstory here. You guys remember Elksy from a, uh, a flathead session we did in the new tinny a little while ago. And obviously you talk a lot of smack on the boats, but Elksy was telling me about these shallow water snapper he gets down here. And um, he's like, yeah, we're only fishing in, you know, sub 20 meters of water, getting 80s, 90s, 70s all the time. I was like, yeah, sure, mate. Yeah, everyone, everyone has a good story. And uh, wow, wow, well, shows, Shows the caliber of fish down here. And have a go at that. Talk us through that's it, mate. A, that's a pretty healthy fish. He's not a monster, but that's a solid fish. Now I'd give that about 70, 75. He's, uh, he's missing a bit of top tail, which gives you a bit of length. We'll dud him on that one, but healthy fish. Well, I'll tell you what. Pretty weighty. Fight wise, holy crap. Yeah, he, he had me, he had me. Now you guys don't know how to fight in the state of origin, but Jesus. We well, make up for it in the red, that's Yeah. Cool. I think there's a little indication of what they're eating. That is a crab flipper coming out the old anus. Now, you do a bit of tag and release, so give us the rundown. On the tape. 79. 79. That is a beautiful first fish. Good fish for the morning. This is just a vent. They're very bloated, very stiff. And that's caused by barotrauma coming up from, well, it's not particularly deep water, but coming up from depth, the pressure change causes them to bloat. Yeah, and, and that's then, just a tagging tool, just something you whip up, just a little, little spike. Beautiful, and where does that information go? That goes straight to fisheries, DPI fisheries, and hopefully to improve our breeding stocks. Yeah. The idea behind tagging is that if someone else catches that fish in the future, they'll be able to take the information. It's obviously got numbers and everything attached to it so they can trace it. Hayden will write down the uh, all the details on a card, submit that, and then when it gets recaptured, all that information will go towards... Oh, out of. Don't mind if he does, or she does. And that Beautiful. information will uh, give us a bit of a rundown on what snapper do. Now, if you're going to make a shallow water snapper fishing episode, I feel the ideal way to start it off is exactly that. So guys, if you're enjoying this one already, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't already, drop us a comment below, and uh, mate, let's get some more. Let's get High going. fives these. That was worth the drive. Uh, just let's one go. fish worth the drive. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go heavy for a touch. Oh yeah? Yeah, just for a quick little. This, this comes up here. Um, it'll come up to about nine, 10 meters. Okay. So hang on. Again, the only game. <laughs> Good up. I like taking people to all the hard spots first. Shall I just get their eye in? Yeah. I'm going to have to go one of these. Put a paddle tail on soon. Yeah, give it a go. 
Not one of yours. I've got some of mine. Don't you worry. Do you go ever go bright colours? Or do you like the natty uh, boys? Oh. I feel like if they got that time to look at it, you probably want to go natural. Well, I used to I used to run a white, like a crystal white, mm -hmm. a fair bit. That was that's a good colour. Uh, but just whatever I feel on the day. Just whatever you're vibing. I do, I do like throwing natural, but... Oh, I think... Well, natural takes the guesswork out of it, doesn't it? Yeah. Like, they can be eating fluoros, but they're always going to eat what's around them, like... Yeah. <laughs> Got him that time. Little pinky, is it? Yeah. Well, he's on again. This is a bit of local knowledge pantsing here. Now, I don't know if you guys have picked up on it, but I certainly have. He's opting for the paddle tail, which is not something we use up my way too often. And I'll tell you what, <laughs> I'll be joining him very shortly if this keeps up. Oh, he's a little cutie. Embarrassing, but... Nothing's embarrassing, mate. What's embarrassing is driving all the way down here and not catching one. Uh, I'm just saving myself for the 90. That's right. There you go. If you were eating one, that is ideal size. You can put that hole on the barbecue and it would be an absolute treat. That'd be about, what, 40, 45? Yeah. Be a lovely eater. Perfect oven size. Oh, yeah. Pretty work. See? Paddle tails. He's into it. It's okay. I'll pack some. Tell us how it's done. I ain't showing you nothing. <laughs> I'm here to learn. Makes a good laugh. Oh yeah. <laughs> well, I just cast there. I'm gonna put a paddle tail on. Yeah, you it, your heavy one, don't you? I'm fishing heavy. Yeah. You did say it was time to change the light, and I, I tried to... Fish light to get the bite? Well, I didn't fish light, I just went against local knowledge, which you should never do. Again, if you're chasing a feed... Oh, if you're chasing a feed, that would be a... That's an even primer ingredient. Yeah. You need the net there? Yeah. Lifter? Lifter? Give us a quick squizzy. A little bit better, better for the oven. Size if you want to keep a few for three. I love how underwhelmed you are, boss. The small snapper size. That's that's how you know you weren't joking about the big ones. You don't come here to catch these. Oh, apparently that's... not. Here's now I can go. You got digging into the dance floor. The... That's, I don't have any natties. I, I almost chucked that white shark also. It's a hard one. It's a green, and it seems to be working. So Let's have a go at it. Look, it's not going to hurt. Yeah, I'll give that a whirl, and next up will be a prawn. Yeah. The prawn James will be coming out. Well, ladies and gents, he's got me guessing. I just had the six inch curly tail. I'm gonna go to a paddle tail. And... Are you striking fish behind me? Yeah, there's fish here. Get him? Again, what's going on? Maybe they're being respectful and waiting for me. That's paddle tail time. Oh no, you got a jerk bait now. Yeah. Now if you were to chuck some advice at someone who doesn't fish paddle tails for snapper ever, what are we doing retrieve wise? And for those playing along at home? Let the plastic do the work. I like the sound of that. Yeah, fish as wide as you can. Soft, subtle, like you don't have to really grip the rod around like you do with a jerk bait. Um, yeah.
Look, I'm working on it. Maybe they can, they can just smell that wind, the origin kind of stank on me. They're like, oh no. It's more like a sympathy bite. He's, he's New South Wales. Yeah, he's already tasted success. Like, he doesn't need anything else. Must be. <laughs> Maybe we just got a really dumb snapper up in Queensland. You got dumb football players, we got dumb snapper. Yeah. You can't be blessed with everything. Oh, is that one holding on for you? There he goes. Don't know if this is a snap or a little sad one. Do you guys have the same admiration for something? Our dragon snapper. There we go. There we go. Didn't even feel him hit, but I got one. Well, it's good to join you in the on position. It is. I've got a pearl perch. Yes! No, I don't think so. This is one thing he's going hard to. Got an upgrade and a downgrade. Oh, you got the Sarjo. No, I, I definitely do the short end. Now, this is something I've wanted to catch for a long time a shallow water pearl perch. Up where I fish in Queensland, we get these guys in like 40, 50 metres plus. And Hayden was telling me, he's like, ah, we get him in. Well, we're currently in sub 20 meters. And for a pearly of that size up there, absolutely wild. But down here, apparently common. Little known fact, they're very easy to thumb grip, but they've got mad teeth. If you let them move, they will kill your, your um, finger. Oh no. <laughs> Have a go at that. Now that makes it worth the drive. Beautiful pearl perch, the paddle tail already producing. That is ridiculous. Such shallow water for such quality. Tell you what, can't win a game of footy, but the fishing's pretty red hot. That's just Welcome good fun. To Welcome to the party. That highway might not be that far after all. Roger. Oh, there we go. Well. This is going to be one of the luckiest pearl perch in Australia. One of the best eating fish you'll find. He's having to think about it. You want to come back in, mate? Yeah. Calm I didn't think so. Away he goes. He's just cruising, having to think. No. They are in the, the motorhome as well. Oh. Him, his wife, and his little daughter. Come on, Big Red, where are you? Oh, there's fish. Oh, that might be a board off, is it? That, I don't know, but that was a that was good a, fish. That, that was a... Was, I don't know how he didn't find the hooks. Feed him back to him. He didn't feel the hooks. I oh, definitely didn't. I got no weight off him. It could have been a bite off. No, I think there's still something there. There's something there. How often are you pulling spanos on the um on the plastics? Grab the tail. Oh. Swallowed till there. Oh, size anyway. Yeah, it's tiny. Really proactive red rocky. Yeah. Overzealous. Overzealous, overcompensating. Digging. Up in. Try it. 
<laughs> Bloody hell, these things go out. Yeah, now, if this is a pearly, it's going to be a honker. I think it's a, a snapper, though. Through its teeth. It's a snappy. He's not even that big. These things are supercharged down here. Oh, he's a nice fish though. He's a nice fish. All right. I'm on the board. On the board. Whew. Thanking you. Where are we? That is not that big of a snapper for how he fought. That is a, what, he's a, he's a mid 60, but he's got a big knob. That's my, maybe why he went hard. Wow, wee. Well, that's just good, honest fun, that is. We get shallow water snapper up our way, but they don't go that hard. And there you go. My turn. That's a beautiful little fish. He's got the makings of a big knobby snapper. Got that big knob starting to form. He went exceptionally hard. That was awesome. Well, good to get one. See if he'll swim off without being vented, mate. Reckon you'll be all right. Loves it. Loves it. Got one. Or we've got a, possibly our first Sergeant Baker. Or my first. Yes. So Dicko from Wilson reckons these are good eating. Apparently one of the, the better eating fish you can get. You just gotta get through the bones and you apparently you, like only get half a fillet off them. That's the word on the street. He would know. Oh no, sometimes you just gotta do it. It's motor oil time. Go down half. Alright, and um. Oh, yeah. There he is! Textbook tape, <laughs> He's not doing that much, he must be. Oh, he might. Don't want to talk about it. What happened there? That hurts. He never really nah, did that he, much. He was just getting wound up. He's pulled my pants down. Oh, oh no, he's folded me up. And pulled your pants down. No, no, pants are still on. Well, boat pants, yes. Plastic pants. Costly. That stings a little. That was a. I don't know. He, because he did. There was a good head nod there for a bit there, which wasn't like a. It was like a. But I never got proper like one to one weight with him. I, I don't think he knew it was hooked yet. He um. Hmm. Nah, good. Love missing those ones. Mm. Oh yes, I saw that hit. Get him. Are you good uh, fish? Is he awake yet? Alright, I think. I saw that rod tip go before or well, you were looking away. I was looking away. Hey, is that pearly? He's kind of doing the or you know what it could be, the mother of all bakers. This silver. Mm. Here we go. Nah, that was the bottom. Well, we've changed it up and they've come back on, haven't they? They have. That's a nice one. But the eagle eyes might notice the paddle tails are back out again, pulling made, results. Made a return. I just missed a good one <coughs> and got a Sarjo and uh, Squire Tom. This hook does not want to come out. Well, at least he wasn't going anywhere. There we go. There we go. Give us a look at him in the sun there. Pretty fish. 
again, probably a 40, yeah, yeah. 40, 42. Yep. Beautiful eating size. Not the one we're chasing, but the right species and good fun. Perfect for Send the plate. Him. Catch him, mate. Well, guys, the old um, snapper have kind of had their time. So we thought, bugger it. Come flick the washers, see if there's any teethy critters. Oh, bait ball just here. Yeah. Or is that a rock? Oh, there we go. I wasn't even watching. Oh, no. You are. Oh. Oh. Look at the ball after him. There they are. Oh, there he is. That's a nice tailor, too. <laughs> That's a really nice tailor. Oh, that is sick. Surface tailor fishing. Now, I'm going to say it again. I've said it already today. New South Wales is absolutely terrible at rugby league. But they've got some good fishing options. It is a good tailor. There was some good ones in there. Might even need to net. Probably against your religion to net a tailor, but... Any... That's actually quite a good tailor. Doing my best to try and lose him. Oh no. Swing it. No, go. Oh yes. No. No. You flip him inside out then. Yeah. That's, that's almost a walk and break out. That's. That's unforgivable. That's what that is. Well. It's not ideal, but it does mean I get to take your next cast, so. There can't be a um, buddy stack of them. And then none. Uh, oh, they're, they're probably that one, oh, missed him. Uh, oh. oh. Got him that time. Got him. Yeah. Double hookups. Oh, Bitten off! Yep. <laughs> oh. Well, this is just a little... I, I guess that's payback for losing your fish. Yep, I'm not even, I'm not even mad at you. Even that's a nice chopper. I would have liked to have seen that other one just to rub it in a bit more. Taylor on surface, that's good fun. Little surface walker. See you mate. Don't tell your mates that we're here. Oh. Yes. <laughs> oh, we found him now, I think. Yeah. And once you find them, that's when you go, oh, I don't. Start putting bigger and bigger lures on. Do you get little trevs and stuff down here? Yeah, yeah. Rowling, kiddies in amongst them all. This is just good fun. Oh, he's a, a nice tailor hooked in the anus. You want to hear him? Nah, nah. Oh, I've learnt my lesson from asking you to help. I, I <laughs> Oh, that's a nice fish. That's a real nice fish. There you go. It's a beautiful wash tailor. It is a little bit cheating because we're not doing it from the, the rocks themselves, but that's awesome. See you, mate. Do you want me to help you land it? Is it a good one? Are you letting me know. Actually, you owe me one anyway, so. <laughs> Nah, nah. Jeez, they're chunky fish. Yeah, they're getting that excited that they're just swiping at it and not particularly accurate, but. There 
boys. <laughs> oh, we should have done this. Bugger the snapper. Good fun. You notice I've changed up the gear a little bit, guys. Just because fishing the wash, wash you often have to bit, cast a bit further than you'd like. I, um, I've got a nine foot rod here. It just gives you that little bit of extra distance. The downside being it's a pain in the ass when they get to the boat, but hey, it's only an issue if you hook them and once you do that, hey? You want a net? No! <laughs> this is awesome! <laughs> Hang on to it. It's Another good chunky one. Racking them up. <clears throat> oh! You're the silent assassin, no word from you, just bending. <laughs> oh! Oh! Yes! <laughs> oh, this is heaps of fun! Have you got a pop on? Yeah. I was in like a blooping one. Dog, yeah, this. Oh! oh, I've seen that. Now, have a go at this. I only asked about an hour ago whether they get dark, to which the answer was not very often, maybe in summer. Now, we're gonna have to measure this guy because he's a big dart. It'll be. What are you going tip or four? Nah, you gotta go tip. That's a, yeah. that's a 42 centimetre dart. That's a cracker. Give us a quick look. Well, there you go. See you, champion. Or in that particular crack, or. Oh. So you got some big mates following him. Or? Yeah, oh, oh, look at the kingies. Yeah. You got a kingie? I don't know. Yeah, I do. Sick. Yeah. <laughs> what do you got? Oh, I wouldn't mind that. Well, a bit of variety. You got a good one, have you? There you go, guys. Bit of bycatch. Little yellowtail king. No wonder who's fighting. How cool is that? That was an absolute cracker of a morning. Beautiful snapper first up, and then a few schooly sized fish during the morning. Awesome pearly, shallow water pearly, which I've been meaning to tick off for a long time. Followed up with an absolute fat time chasing Taylor in the wash. Had an absolute ball. And I'll tell you what, well and truly worth the trip down, mate. Well and truly. You guys are spoiled well, here. You guys are spoiled. You can't spoiled. play footy, but we can try and fish, so. You can't. You really can't. New South Wales people, they just don't get origin, but they got some great fishing on their doorstep. I'll tell you what, mate. That was an absolute cracker. The job is not done here though. So keep your eyes peeled because we've got another session that we're going to film this afternoon and tomorrow morning that I think you will absolutely love. So keep your eyes peeled for that. But for now, we're going back to get some lunch.